well, you guys have been asking me like a lot for Mac leaks. So today you're getting them. Your very first look at the iMac, the 2021 iMac, as well as the Mac Mini Pro. Get our exclusive leaks even before the website's right about Hit it. Hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT Fapata, the show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. First up, before we get started, number one, this week's new episode of Genius Bar, my podcast, is out right now. I'm going to leave a bunch of links for it down in the description below, so if you're not subscribed yet, you haven't listened yet, what, what's wrong with you? Go do it. All right, let's jump into the news because there is a lot to cover today. I have a ton of exclusives for you today in this episode, not just Mac leaks, but also Android leaks. Yeah, we're doing that. Let's go. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. Before we jump into all the exclusives and we get real serious, how about something that'll make you laugh? Remember this? We talked about this on an episode a few weeks ago. Amazon was updating their app icon to look like, well, what, what they think is a box. I guess. Because, you know, Amazon and boxes and stuff. But uh, the the issue with this, and I mentioned this in that episode a few weeks ago, there's something about this that just doesn't look right. Hmm? You, you get it? You understand? It's something that you might not see at first glance, but if you look closer, it kind of looks like... Okay, that's, that's enough. Are we, uh, we still monetized? Okay, good. So this is like, you know, not good, right? It's bad. Well, listen, I don't want to say that Amazon saw that episode and then changed the icon or anything, but, uh, uh, they did change the icon. This is the new one. See the difference? Here, here's the old one on the left and the new one on the right. Now, the thing on the top looks a lot less mustachey and more like tape, which I think it, that's I think that's what it's supposed to be, tape on a box. Again, I'm not saying that that's the reason they changed it, but it is changed. And frankly, it looks much better. Good job, Amazon. All right, so next up, before we jump into those Mac leaks that I told you that you were getting, how about some of those Android leaks that I mentioned? Because yeah, uh, got some of those. Daddy's got you covered with the Android leaks too. First up, the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. Five good. And can we not? Okay, I can hear you from here. <laughs> John, who cares about that phone? Uh, well, clueless commenter, if we have a look here, the Galaxy A51 was literally the second best-selling phone last year, right under the iPhone. So if you're sitting there asking who cares, at least a couple people. And Samsung fans have been waiting for the new version of this phone for what feels like forever, and thanks to a very, and I mean very trusted source, I'm being told that the Galaxy A52 5G will drop on March 26th, so just a little over a month from now. Oh, but that's not all. I also have release information for you for the Oppo Find X3 devices. Terrible name, but I know when they're coming out. This includes the Oppo Find X3 Pro, the X3 Lite, and the X3 Neo. Announcement for all three of these devices will happen on March 11th. They'll be available for pre-order starting on March 31st and then finally launch and ship on April 14th. Oh, what's that? You like the Android leaks? Okay, baby. <laughs> I got more for you. In fact, I'm working on something like huge. I'm working on a big major project for you right now behind the scenes that'll help with all that stuff. So stay tuned. All right, listen, this is a tech show. You're watching a tech show. You don't need me to tell you what a VPN is or why you need one. What I can tell you is that my boys over at WeVPN are all VPN veterans who were just tired of all the sketchy practices of other VPNs that they worked for, so they joined forces and created one of the fastest and most secure VPNs out there. For only three bucks a month on a yearly plan, you get access to all premium features, a choice of over 50 server locations, and yes, you can use WeVPN to unblock most streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, and tons more. More. They're already offering 62% off right now with one month free, and you, because you're a front page tech viewer, can subtract an additional 10% off just by using the promo code FPT at checkout. My challenge to you is that even if you're already using a VPN right now, if you like this show, if you trust me, click the link down in the description right now to give WeVPN a try. 
Oh, hey, welcome back. So a uh, bit of a first on the show. We've never really done Mac leaks before, but today <laughs> you're getting them. If you remember last year in September, we gave you your first exclusive look at AirTags as well as AirPods Max. Obviously AirTags, they aren't out yet, but AirPods Max are out and you've seen those compared to our renders and you can see just how close we were. And now today we're giving you your very first look at the 2021 iMac as well as a Mac Pro small. Which one do you want first? <laughs> Just kidding, you don't get to pick. I pick. I mean, at this point, you've probably seen leaks about a smaller Mac Pro that's coming. And at this point, I'm not quite sure what the final marketing name for this will be, like the Mac Mini Pro or the Mac Pro Mini, or whatever. Either way, it's a Mac Pro or small. And I know this design came out from McGuire Wood on Appleosophy a few months ago. He gave us some pretty high quality concept renders based on information from his sources uh, of what he believes it was gonna look like. And those renders were great, uh, but I'm being told something uh, different. My source is saying that the tiny Mac Pro thing, the Mac Mini Pro, whatever they call it, looks almost like the old G4 cubes. They more specifically described it as three to four Mac Minis stacked on top of each other. Exact words were compute unit on the bottom and big heat sink on top. All right, moving on to the iMac and I left this, I made this last on purpose because well, you'll see why. I mean, we've already heard about the redesign, right? Like we know that's coming. There have been leaks about that for a while, but they aren't just coming with a redesign. They're coming with nostalgia as well. Similar design language to the Pro Display XDR that we already have, as well as like a mix of iPad in there, which we pretty much already knew, right? But wait for it, guys. Colors. Remember the classic iMac that came in colors? Like these are unforgettable and totally iconic. Everyone remembers these. Well, for Apple Silicon and the first redesign in like a hundred years, they're giving us the colors back. More specifically, I'm told that the current prototype units for iMac use the same colors as the iPad Air. Holy sh! Yes, what a way to bring this one back home. I mean, look at them, look at these. Dear God, I want, I want all of them. Now, this is important. I have yet to see the full back of this design. So full disclosure, the ports that we included on the back of this render are just basically ones that we saw in the 2020 iMac. The actual IO that we end up getting as well as the placement might be slightly different in the real thing. And by the way, as always, huge thanks to Concept Creator for getting these renders to me on such short notice. Absolutely amazing work. Once again, you guys gotta follow him. I'll leave a link to his channel and his Twitter down in the description below. So, what do you think? You gotta let me know down in the comments below. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what your heart is feeling right now. I mean, that's it. Like always, after we drop a leak like this, uh, my job is done. I gave you the information, internet, you choose what to do with it.